So again, I really appreciate filming the whole consult because this is our first time meeting each other and I already got the camera on you. <laughs> so, you. So tell me a little bit about what's been happening. So I'm wearing Chucks, uh, Converse, yes. just my shoes, and I, I work as a sales associate before, so I always walk and walk, and I feel like that's the main reason that's why my toenail. Okay, and how long has it been discolored like that? So I can say one and a half year. And has it changed much? Has it always been this? Yeah, no, I feel like it's growing. The first, maybe the first few months is only just the top, and yep. now it's growing back, like it's taking my whole nail. It is, okay. So I got scared, so... Not a problem, and that's good that you came in. Now, you can see compared to the other toenail, it looks different. Mm -hmm. The shape's different. This one's yeah, a little bit thicker. Yeah, and this thicker. one's thicker too, yes. It is, it is, it. it is much, much thicker. And we'll talk about why. Now, did you remember banning this toe specifically? Did it ever turn black and blue or no. nothing, something like that? Okay. Now this toenail looks like it does have nail fungus. Okay. Nail fungus is very irregular. Think of it like mold on bread. So that's why it's, it's an uneven line. Mm -hmm. It's spotty, multicolored. Mm -hmm. And it eats the nail itself. And that's why it gets a lot of dead skin and it gets okay. crumbly. Yeah, and I feel like I'm having ingrown as well. Or... On the corners as well. Yes. And it can change the nail shape. It can make the nail thicker, it can make the nail curl in because now that the nail is lifted, not attached, mm -hmm. sometimes the nail kind of gets dry and curls in. Oh, that's why. Yes. Now, the only way to see results with treating nail fungus, mm -hmm. and we should be treating this, right? So we okay. can get the healthy nail that's back here grow out. The only way to see improvement is as the new nail is growing in healthy and pink, the bad, discolored part, the part of the fungus grows out. Okay. It takes roughly six months to one year for a new nail to grow, we'll say roughly one year. So the fact that half of your nail is affected, mm -hmm. we're looking at minimum six months worth of treatment. Okay. Whatever treatment we decide, the new nail will grow in and the bad stuff grows out. Okay. Okay. So there's four main options for nail fungus. Option number one is a topical medicine. Mm -hmm. So this is where you're painting something on top of the nail. Mm -hmm. The antifungal medicine will damage, destroy the fungus, not allow it to grow. So as the new nail grows in, the bad stuff grows out. Okay. Now I'm going to recommend that you use something called Jublia. Okay, I don't it, know that. Yes, it's an antifungal nail polish mm -hmm. that you're going to apply twice a day, twice a day. morning and okay. night. Okay. It's not on my drug list, unfortunately, but I'm going to give you a recommendation to give to your family doctor mm -hmm. so you can get this one prescribed for you. Okay. Okay? So you get, it's a clear liquid. You're going to paint it on this nail morning and night. And again, in six months to one year, if everything's working properly, as the new nail grows in pink and healthy, mm -hmm. the bad stuff grows out. Okay. Now, the problem with topical medicine, no matter what topical me me medicine you're using, if the nail's too thick, Mm -hmm. It really won't work. Yeah, it's so what? Okay. Yes. So what we do here, all this yellow part, I can trim off today. It okay. doesn't hurt. It's dead, lifted nail. Mm -hmm. it, yeah, really. So I'm going to trim all that lifted nail off. Then I use my tool that you might have seen on some of my videos with the mm -hmm. water. Yes, yes. And I buff the nail super thin. Okay. Now the medicine can actually penetrate better and actually reach the nail fungus and kill it. Okay. Allowing the new nail to grow in healthy and the bass to grow. Okay. We need to be coming in every two months to have this nail buffed down, filed down. Okay. Okay. We take pictures today and mm -hmm. in six months, if we don't see any signs of improvement, treatment's not working. We have to switch treatment options. Okay. Okay. If everything's working in six months, we see it moving up, we keep going until it's all gone. Okay. So we can't just remove it or no? We're going to talk about that. Oh, you um, like the good stuff. Oh yeah, my God. That's fine. I don't know. No, we'll talk about it. So option number two okay. is laser treatment. So there's different types of lasers, but what we use here is something called photodynamic therapy. So what mm -hmm. that means is, again, I clean up the nail, get all the bad stuff off. Mm -hmm. I stain the toenail blue with a dye. Mm -hmm. Now this dye gets absorbed by the fungus. Now the fungus is blue. We activate this dye using mm -hmm. a light, and it causes a reaction that's toxic for the fungus, not for the normal cells. Oh, okay. We do two sessions, mm -hmm. two months apart. At the same time, you should be using the topical medicine because combination therapy will work the best. And in six months, since we start our first session, we should again see half of the nail grow in. Okay. If everything is moving out, we continue to, it's all gone. Okay. Now, in six months of either laser and topical or just the topical, if we don't see improvement, we have to switch treatment options because it's the topicals just don't get in well enough. Okay. Option number three, oral medication. So this is actually taking an antifungal pill 
Yeah, but I read it. I think you mentioned it that if it's oral, then it will take off all the nails. No, it treats all the nails. So oh, if there was fungus, the yes, okay. it treats all your fingernails, your toenails. So if you have fungus in any other nail, which you don't, it it'll treat that as well. Oh. So you have to take a pill every single day. Mm -hmm. So yeah. what's gonna happen mm -hmm. is you take this anti-fungal uh, medicine mm -hmm. orally, again, for three to six months, usually six months until everything grows out. Okay. Uh, it works extremely well because the medicine actually goes underneath the nail. Uh, it feeds the new nail cells, pushes everything out very well. Mm -hmm. The only issue is that if you're taking a lot of other medication, if you have a history of liver issues, it mm -hmm. could be harsh on your body. So you actually have to get a liver test done every month just to test your liver function, make sure there's no yeah. issues. Um, and so we have to be very careful about that okay. if you have I any other issues. I might not uh, prefer that option because I just recently had the isotretinoin and also damages your liver and I just recently finished the treatment. So I don't think that would be... No option. problem. And, and we'll talk about, I'll go over which option I think would be best for you. Okay. And I'll just skip to that right now. For one toenail, mm -hmm. oral medication is not really worth it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, if you have more than five toenails affected, maybe. But it's just one, no. And that's when we have our last option, which is the removal of the toenail. Okay. So this is a surgical procedure where, again, I give you a needle, numb your toe, remove the whole toenail. We get rid of all the bad fungus underneath the nail, clean up the nail bed. Mm -hmm. And when we remove the toenail, we have two options. Option number one is we allow a new nail to grow back. Okay. So now that it's, there's no more nail, a brand new healthy nail will grow back. Mm -hmm. We actually will use an antifungal cream on the nail bed Cream doesn't work on the nail, but on skin it works very well. So now that you have no more toenail, we use an antifungal cream for one month, mm -hmm. kill anything that's left behind, and over the next six months to one year, a new toenail grows in. Oh, now, the issue though, is sometimes, you know, you can do the oral medication, you can remove the toenail, but if you have a bad, thick, or damaged nail, these nails are prone to getting fungus all over again. It's like catching the cold. So you can get fungus possibly again. So sometimes when we have a very bad or damaged nail, we actually remove the toenail forever. Mm -hmm. So we would apply an acid to stop this toenail from ever going back. Okay. But to me, your toenail is not in that kind of state. <laughs> we would definitely remove the toenail and let it grow back. Okay, that's what I want. Yes, so you, oh, you wanna go right for that. Yeah. Gotcha, and it saves you a lot of time because you don't have to waste putting it twice a day, every single day, yeah, six I months, know. just to see if it's getting it's better. Awesome. It and is. I'm forgetful, I might forget it, so I'll just do it. Exactly, so you know what, to me, that's great. So how that procedure works, give you the injection, after that you don't feel a single thing, we'll prep the room, get everything ready, remove the toenail, clean everything up, you walk right out of here. Okay. Now the toe's gonna be numb for six to 10 hours. Mm -hmm. Once the freezing wears off, the toe will be sore for one to two days, that's completely normal. Usually one to two, two days, people feel the most amount of pain, then pain starts to go down and it's just gonna be sensitive after that. But can I take uh, some like Tylenol? Ideas? You definitely can, but most people find it very manageable with just one toenail, okay. okay? And then I'll give you a set of instructions. You'll be dressing it with an antibiotic cream morning and night for one week. Mm -hmm. Send us a picture, make sure everything looks good. And then we usually switch to an antifungal cream just at night for one month. Okay. And then over the next six months to one year, we watch the toenail grow in. Okay, that sounds good. And then, do they know about your foot problem? Yes. And what have they said about it? That I should be going to you. Oh. They're also watching you though. They are? Yeah. Wow, you got the whole family watching. Yes. Who started it first? I started it. <gasps> yeah. You started and they had to tell you to come here? Yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, I really want to come here. I just don't have the time. And then when I called the office, it's booked. So I have to wait till next year. I know, but I appreciate you waiting. Okay. And I appreciate you letting me film it. <laughs> so tell the camera, how bad was the injection? It's bad. I mean, not too bad. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. You made it. You only cried a little. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did not cry at all. You were good. So we're going to do one last little check. Okay. Okay. Anything sharp here? No. Here? No. How about down here? No. Anything here? No. And here? No. Very good. So you are all numb. So we are separating the nail from the nail bed. Okay. Are you going to watch? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. you are watching. Plus you get your own video. <laughs> so you're going to see why sometimes, and everyone on YouTube today, how, why is it so difficult to treat nail fungus topically? Because we're going to remove the nail and you're going to see how tough the tissue is. Uh, 
Carai. Uf. Now, this is the big issue. You see how it's red below? That's mm -hmm. healthy nail bed. You see how the top is very dry, mm -hmm. all that thick dead stuff? Mm -hmm. That's the nail fungus. Okay. And it sits on top of the nail bed. Mm -hmm. Like, look how thick that is. And if the medicine isn't penetrating that, it won't work. And that's why sometimes topicals are very difficult to treat nail fungus. So what we're actually removing is all that dead fungus that builds up on the nail bed itself. Mm -hmm. You see how the whole thing is becoming red? Yeah. That's what we want. That's the healthy nail bed. So if, for everyone out there, if you're treating nail fungus and you're not having the nail filed down every two months, month, it, the medicine won't work. You really need to get as much of the dead stuff off mm -hmm. so the medicine can penetrate. So what we were pulling off is all the dead skin. See how much flatter it is now and we see the red on top. So not only do we remove it today, like we just did now, but we're also gonna be using a topical antifungal cream to mm -hmm. kill anything that might've been left behind. So I'm just checking to make sure there's nothing left behind. So this is a little bit of cuticle there, that's normal. Yeah, it looks good, no more nail left behind. So we're just gonna get some of that extra cuticle off. Yeah, everything looks good. How, what'd you feel? I'm okay. Do you feel I'm anything? Feel like, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, you did amazing. And you can see how... That's so satisfying. <laughs> see how deep the nail was on the side there? Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. So we cleaned everything up. So now the new nail is going to come in much healthier. Okay, that's good. So, this is how you're going to dress it. You're going to use this fusidin cream. Mm -hmm. It's an antibacterial cream. Mm -hmm. Because we have no toenail, it's better that you add a lot more cream on it so it doesn't get stuck onto the gauze. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm gonna be putting on today gauze and a wrap, but it might bleed for a day or so, so that's why I'm gonna give you extra of this. If, if tomorrow it's not bleeding, you can actually just use cream and a Band-Aid. Because okay. if you don't put enough cream, the gauze will stick to it. Okay, so it has to be a lot. A lot of cream, just so we don't get anything to stick with it. Or if it's not bleeding, you can switch to uh, just the band-aid and the cream. Oh. And that was it. So nice. Was that slow or fast? Yes, that's so fast. <laughs> like 20, last night, 20 minutes. You said, you said I said 20, 20 minutes, minutes cause yeah. just in case I was a slow poke today, but today I was fast. Okay, so what's gonna happen? It's all wrapped up. Mm -hmm. You can leave this till tomorrow morning, okay? Mm -hmm. So tomorrow morning, if you wanna shower, you can shower, but shower with the dressing on. Okay, with the dressing on. Then you take everything off, dry the toe, put on the new dressing. Cream, cream. if it's a little bloody, gauze, wrap. If it's really not any blood, you could just put cream and a bandage, whatever feels more comfortable for okay. you. Okay, but if it's a bunny, they still have to put a lot. You should, but you won't need to do as much. Oh, okay. Okay? 